What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wirelessly transfer data from one iPhone to another using Apple's brand new feature that was just added in the iOS 12.4 update that was just released yesterday. So Apple has been continuously improving the way in which we transfer data from one iPhone to another. Now back in the day, we used to have to just back up our phones and plug them into the computer and use iTunes to get our data back. And then later on, we were able to use iCloud backup so that we could transfer data wirelessly through an iCloud backup. And then with iOS 11, Apple gave us the quick setup option where we basically just have to scan that little blue code, that little blue bubble, and then it initiates the transfer. Well, now with iOS 12.4 and iOS 13, there's an even easier, more effective way of transferring data over from one iPhone to another. So let's go ahead and check out this new feature and just kind of just see how it compares to the previous methods that I mentioned. I'm not going to go through and do each one of the restores, but I've done all of them in the past. So I'll be able to tell you guys, you know, if it's faster, if it's more effective, if you can still keep all of your passwords, if you keep all your photos and things like that, we're going to go through some of those details as well all right so to do this you do need to be on ios 12.4 or higher on both devices so the device that you have so say you have an iphone 6 and you just bought an iphone 8 plus on ebay obviously both phones are going to have to be on ios 12.4 so if the phone you just bought on ebay is not updated you will have to update that and then restore it back to factory if you want to get all the data from the old iphone in this case the iphone 6 onto the iphone 8 plus so both of these phones are on ios 12.4 so it should work just fine fine so I'm gonna take the iPhone 6 here and I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of pictures I do have iCloud turned off so these are not going to be transferring via iCloud so I'm just gonna take three photos here and you can see those are the photos right there that I just took and I do not have iCloud enabled so it's not gonna be using iCloud for that so we're gonna test and see and make sure that all of the data gets transferred over properly and you can see the applications I have here you can see that I am logged in to these applications as well you can see there i am logged into twitter i believe i'm also logged into instagram here as well and yes i am logged into instagram as well so we're going to check all that once this process completes so we're just going to go ahead and set up the new phone now we're going to have the old phone unlocked and just sitting on the home screen and we're going to go ahead and start with the process here so we're just going to do this and now when you get to this part you should see a little prompt on this screen i actually canceled it earlier so i'm just going to lock and unlock this phone so you should get this prompt on the old phone right here once you get to this part of the new phone setup. So we're gonna go ahead and unlock to continue. And you can see it is connecting now. We are gonna to have to scan this little code here, which I just mentioned. So we're gonna go ahead and scan that code as you can see right there. And you will have to put in the passcode of this phone as well. And we're gonna go ahead and set up all this stuff later. So we're not gonna set up Touch ID right now. And now you will see the brand new option here. Transfer data from iPhone 6, which is the name of this one. And you can see here, it just gives you a breakdown of what to expect with this data transfer. So this is a brand new prompt here with iOS 12.4. And it says, if you are moving from i6, you can transfer all its data and settings directly to this iPhone. Keep your other iPhone nearby and connect it to power until the transfer is completed estimated transfer time five to ten minutes and then at the bottom there you can see we do have other options and that's just going to be if you want to do an iCloud backup or an iTunes backup but we're not going to do that in this video you can see there it does recommend having it plugged into power but it's not a requirement so we're just going to go ahead and click on start transfer and that estimated time of five to ten minutes will likely vary depending on your device and how much data you have installed on your device and how many settings you've changed and things like that so it could vary for you could be longer it could be shorter it just depends and we'll go ahead and agree to the term Terms and conditions here and now it says settings from your other iPhone and uh, we're just going to continue right there keep your iPhone up to date we're just going to do manual installs this all this stuff doesn't really matter we're just trying to get to this so we're going to set up later in wallet for Apple Pay we'll set up Siri later we're not going to share app analytics just continue we're just trying to get through this menu just so we can get to the home screen but of course if you are setting up a phone for the first time you will want to pay attention and set these settings to whatever you would like so if you want true tone on or off you would want to do that and you can see here now we get to this new screen transferring data from i6 which is this phone right here and you will go to this screen here on the old iphone and you can see down there the time remaining is only one minute so it's not looking like it's going to take very long at all so this is the brand new transferring data screen here and you can see for some reason the new phone has the little icon right there up at the top but the old phone does not have the blue graphic right there or a cancel button so you can't cancel it from this phone but you can cancel the data transfer process from the new phone and there we go it says transfer complete your data has been transferred to your other iphone before you trade in give away or sell this iphone you should completely erase it by going to settings and choosing erase all content and settings so that's the prompt we get here on the old iphone uh, there's no other button you can press so maybe just the home button 
So yeah, I guess you press, press the home button and it takes you back here to your home screen, I would imagine. So yeah, you get continue now and it just takes you back to the home screen. So now we'll see all of the applications and everything on the new phone, which in this case is the iPhone 8 Plus. And like I mentioned, I am going to check for those photos that I took there at the last second and also for passwords and applications and things like that. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock our phone. You can see there it is going ahead and downloading all the applications that were on the iPhone 6 here in the exact same layout so you can see there everything is exactly the same as the iphone 6 it's just downloading them right now so you can see there we do have the same home screen layout now let's go and check our photos and see if we do have the same photos here as well so yes we do have those three photos that we just took before this process so that's good news and by the way i do just want to mention that this was definitely faster than an icloud backup at least it seemed like it to me uh, and the fact that i didn't have to go ahead and do a backup on this phone before starting the process was even quicker so i definitely think this is a much faster and more effective uh, way of transferring data over versus the iCloud backup method. All right, so let's go ahead and launch Twitter and see if we are logged into Twitter like we were on the iPhone 6. And yes, so we do keep our passwords as well. And you even get a little prompt there that says device restored. If you've upgraded your device, you may want to review your notification settings. So very interesting. We do have uh, our application still logged into even though it was not an encrypted iTunes backup. So this is definitely going to be the preferred way of transferring data over from one iPhone to another for sure. And you can see there we even have the notification badge for a notification in the YouTube application. So this is definitely an awesome feature here in iOS 12.4. And again, this will work with iOS 13 as well. Uh, I could definitely see this being a lot more useful than iCloud or iTunes backups. It's faster, you keep retain all the information, including your passwords, and you don't even have to make a backup before you do it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you are going to test out this feature, let me know down in the comment below, or maybe you've already tested it out. Let me know your experience down there in the comment section below. And of course, make sure you guys do subscribe for a lot more iOS related content, just like this one. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.